Welcome to this guided meditation to use the transformational power of A Course in Miracles to transcend fear and return your mind to love. Take a moment to find a comfortable position and when you're ready, close your eyes. Take some nice, slow, gentle breaths to arrive here in the present moment. Allow the outside world of ego distraction to fade away as you turn your focus inwards. We're going to be using our inner sight for this journey. The body's eyes can't see the ultimate truth. To align with the power and beauty of love, we need to see with our spiritual sight. Feel with the energy of our heart and tap in to that amazing sense of knowing we all have inside. Breathe slowly and gently. Focus on letting go with each exhale. Release any tension from your forehead. Relax your jaw. Drop your shoulders. Keep breathing slowly and gently, letting go of any tightness in your stomach. Loosen your hands. Feel your legs go heavy. The more you let go of the body, the more you start to reconnect with your spiritual expression. The part of you that remembers that all there is is love, that you are completely safe and looked after, that your source is unconditionally holding you in the light, whilst you take some time to return your mind to that place you came from that place you still are, but may have forgotten how it feels. If you're finding yourself experiencing fear or anxiety, this is coming up for a reason. Lightly acknowledge it and remind yourself that you have the power to transform this now with the help of spirit and your own willingness to let go. You're not alone. Love has rushed to meet you since you first called upon it. If you knew who walks beside you, on the path that you have chosen, fear 
would be impossible. Feel into this teaching for a moment and let's acknowledge the incredible presence of love that is here right now. This is spirit. This is God. Intend to connect with this awesome energy. This is home. And this is what's always walking beside you. When you let the walls fall away, you can feel it. So this fear or anxiety that you're experiencing has been triggered by something happening in your life. Scary thoughts or events tell us stories that can put our mind in a looping hellhole. The interesting thing is, this event or thought that seems to have triggered these feelings in you was in fact only a trigger. You're not upset for the reason you think. This thought or event has actually done you a favour by triggering a section of the unconscious fear stored inside the mind. The only way we can be free of all fear is by acknowledging its presence and bringing it into the light. You have an amazing opportunity now to heal this section of the unconscious mind forever. Let's do a simple thought process to transform this fear with spirit by our side. Feel yourself now surrounded by the incredibly powerful, loving presence of spirit. You're eternally loved, looked after, and safe. You're being enveloped in a warm, golden light. Spend a moment here, bathing in spirit, remembering that relieving, familiar feeling of home. From this place of connection with spirit, apply the following thoughts to the fear that's been brought to the light. I forgive this fear I'm experiencing. I know I can let it go safely with spirit by my side. I forgive myself for dreaming this fear. I remember this world that appears so real is actually a dream, a hologram, blocking my true vision of where I really am. I have simply dreamt that I'm in a separate body, experiencing this fear alone. I am at home in God, and by my willingness to give this fear up to spirit, for transformation, I'm unlocking a part of the dream, which enables me to more clearly remember being back at home in God. The original thought that I separated from God was incredibly scary, so the ego has pushed it deep down and built fortresses to protect its world through attachment and fear. 
that I'm forever connected to spirit, the voice for God, my link back home. And the more I practice these thoughts and be willing to remember who I am, the quicker my mind will return to love. I take every opportunity I can in the form of all fear and pain that appears to happen. I use these opportunities and reconnect to spirit, be willing to give up the suffering and return my mind to love. I am so incredibly grateful that I have this tool to transform my fear into love. Whenever I feel it popping back up, I return to my practice of remembering where I really am, who I really am, and who is forever walking beside me as I journey home. Feel the power of love radiating through you and from you. Feel the power that you have to transform your fear. And feel the deep, unwavering support of spirit. By aligning your mind with spirit, you can be free. Rest in spirit for a few moments. Start gently bringing your attention back to your body. Take an energizing breath. And wiggle your fingers. Picture the room that you're in and the position that you're sitting in. Maybe you have a nice big stretch. And when you feel ready, open your eyes. <laughs>